Good morning, everyone. We'll try this. We're going to walk up the trail. This is my January the 27th, I believe, um, Saturday morning here in the Philippines. Thought I got a few questions about like budget and things like that. So we're just, uh, which is a huge Grand Canyon size topic. So we're trying to cover, uh, get the ball rolling with a few things. One here, I'm in the province. Been here about 13 months now in the Philippines. Uh, so that's my experience. I'm 62, live in the province. Uh, so, and what I've, uh, some of the prices and things I've uh, experienced, uh, I've lived in a couple different households. Electric budget for the household, which is usually three to five people living there. Um, one to three air cons, depends which home. Uh, you know, living relatively comfortable, uh, somewhere between Philippine style and American style. And uh, our electric bill's been about uh, 1,500 to, uh, well, 2,000 to 3,000 pesos. So that's um, 40 to 60 bucks approximately in American money. So that's the electric, that's for a household um, that I've been experiencing here. So electric's fairly expensive, um, one of your bigger things. Uh, let's see, a phone bill and internet's been about, I'm distracted looking for my little dog. Um, it's been running about, uh, Let's see, uh, 1,500 pesos a month, roughly, 1,000 to 1,500. So that's for your internet and phone and stuff. And water, I think it's around 25 pesos, uh, or maybe as high as 50. I think it's about 25, 30 pesos for five gallons. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to leave stuff out because I haven't written anything down. I'm just giving you some prices and then you can generalize on your own what you might be using because you might be by yourself uh, for electricity or you might have a, a larger family and things like that. So just walking you through the woods while I think about some of the pricing. Uh, bought a motorcycle, for instance, a Rusi uh, 200cc bike here was uh, $1,400, uh, about uh, 70,000 pesos roughly. So that was that. Um, I went to an attorney and had some paperwork filled out. And that was, um, I think she was about uh, 30 to 40, uh, well, 3,000, two to 3,000 pesos. So, so about 30, 40 bucks uh, for her time. I, again, that's uh, in the province. That was over up in Brock Tech Viho. So that's some of the pricing. Uh, like a bottle of uh, Mountain Dew here, I think a 16 ounce bottle is uh, 20 pesos. Um, in general, we'll jump around as I usually do. I think uh, the Philippines is definitely cheaper in most areas, but uh, you know, budgets, can you live here on 500? You certainly can. Can people struggle at $10,000 a, a month? Uh, yeah, it depends on how you're living. If you're trying to live the Western lifestyle, you've got a uh, Ram TRX $80,000 vehicle and you're towed in the boat and you have a big home with central air uh, and you're trying to be, you know, Western over here, well, you're going to pay a premium and it may be uh, as much or more than uh, living in America. If you try to live that kind of lifestyle for instance another thing i bought some pizza here and it was uh oh about twenty a thousand pesos so almost twenty dollars for a pizza which is very similar in america you can get you know fifteen dollars uh, twenty five dollars you can get a pizza so here it's uh you know pizza's uh 
a fairly expensive, at least the kind, you know, if you want American style again, they make some other pizzas here that's more reasonable, but um, we're turning back around here. Um, but it's, you know, Philippine style. It's got some, not much sauce, not much meat. It's like doughy and, uh, you know, something else on it. Maybe a slice of, uh, uh, you know, some fruit or something or some coconut uh, juice or something. So, yeah, it's a wide variety in the Philippines. So that's why I want to stress with people. It's a, pricing's a very wide thing and it depends on where and how you want to live and what your budget is i think the key for me and other people i says live within your budget um if you have let's say 500 we're talking about 500 dollars well then you live like you have 500 dollars you don't go out and uh, buy a motorcycle you don't uh, drive every day and go out to eat every day because you have $500 you want to spend. Can you live in the Philippines? Well, certainly. And then, uh, now my practice that I've always practiced, and I think it's a you know, wise one, is you live about 50 to 75% of your budget. And that's the way I've lived in America to uh, have enough, you know, save money to have income to do something like this, to move somewhere. Um, I could have had a two hundred, you know, quarter million dollar house and lived in that in America, but I lived in a hundred thousand dollar house all my life. I could have drove a hundred thousand dollar vehicle, but I drove a, a fifty thousand dollar vehicle. Um, and the the money that I didn't spend, I did other things or saved, and that's enabled me at sixty two to come here and. Uh, retire and get by and i'm doing the same thing over here could i live a little larger uh yeah but this is the philippines and uh, my choice is to live a philippine style lifestyle i don't want to you know i'm not here to i had a boracay a real fancy uh resort here they sent me some information this is a little quick story and they said, sir, we have uh, beautiful American style places up here for sale for you. There's an advertisement and stuff. I think it was on Facebook. And I said, uh, they showed me pictures and it was just gorgeous, very American style. And it was 50, like 55,000 pesos or 55 million pesos or something. And I said, well, don't you have anything more Philippine style, like, uh, half, you know, a million pesos or half a million? Oh, no, why would you want that, sir? I said, well, I told him, I said, well, I come over here to not be American, but to experience the Philippine, you know, lifestyle and be, you know, to become more Philippine-like than if I wanted to be American. I would just stay in America, make a bunch of money and work hard and, and do what I was doing. So she's like, really, sir? And I said, yeah, I said, I want something, you know, simple. So, and that's what I've lived there in America. So that's my suggestion for people is watch your spending, live on, uh, try to live less than what I'm trying to negotiate this steep trail. So it's off camera in a big rut here you know live within your means so if you have any questions on pricings or anything so that's about it and overall my you know just to get the ball rolling overall i've been spending probably uh 700 to tops out around thousand for everything i go out to uh a month which is around probably about uh, 40 to 55,000 pesos, something like that. 35 to tops out around 55,000 pesos, I think. And I, I got a motorcycle. I fill it up once a week. Uh, gas, like I said, we'll talk about that. I don't think I mentioned that. Stand here a minute and catch my breath. Pan around for you. But uh, 
Yeah, gas is around 60, 70 pesos per liter. I'm not sure how many liters go in a gallon, maybe three or four. So it's also very expensive here. So I would assume that equals around four or so dollars a gallon, uh, which is probably similar to the America. Most people have little motorcycles, so that's a thing. And all these prices, I would say, you know, generally go up as you get into the big cities, Manila, Iloilo, Bacolod, Dumaguete, Cebu. Because um, right here you go out, you want a banana, you go cut a banana and you got it. In the city you go buy and so you're buying a lot more things. And of course it's higher price because they've brought it into the city. So keep that in mind. So I would say city living is going to cost you a... Uh, Throw on another, so if you can live out here for a thousand, throw on another 500 to another thousand for living in the city. So if you like to live in the city and have, you know, lots of, you like that lifestyle of city living and all the conveniences and stuff, then uh, throw on another 500 uh, uh, pesos or dollars. Yeah, not pesos, but dollars uh, a, a month. So about another 500 paces a week, probably. Uh, so a lot of it's your choice and stuff. That's why I said people's, you know, wanting to know about budgets. And I get it because it gives you some ideas. But, you know, really, it's, it really depends on you and your choices, your personal choices. So over here, I live fairly simple. And uh, we'll walk back down this way a little bit. We'll come back up here shortly. But, uh, so that's that. So that's kind of my time. I know I've bumbled around, but I don't have any, I don't like sitting and talking and writing notes down. So if you have any further questions, if that's some of the pricing uh, that I've dealt with, you know, gas, electricity, water, uh, rent, you probably rent a nice, uh, nice place for starting or oh, a little something at probably a hundred, uh, hundred dollars which might be a uh, five thousand pesos a month uh you get a little room or something somewhere and then if you want a nice house by the beach it may run you five eight hundred dollars so i'm not sure how many pesos each hundred is uh five thousand so you can figure that up real quick i'm not going to think about it at the moment but so about 500 to 800 to maybe have a beachfront property or something a month so the home uh two homes i've been living in is one is a friend's home and i've got a room there and the other one is a house that me and my wife uh built here for so when we came so that's uh, my experience there so it's somewhat limited Although I am here and have and have managed to get here and have managed to have been here a year now. So, well, I thought that would get the ball rolling. And uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to jump in there and share with each other. Because I count on that a lot. It's uh, is my channel, but it's also your channel. So get in there and you can debate with other people. Somebody, a lot of people may be here five, 10, 20 years or something, have a lot more experience than I do and lived in uh, many different parts of the Philippines. I've basically lived in two Brong guys, so, and they're, you know, little provinces. So that's what I'm sharing with you, my knowledge from that. Okay, that's my time. We'll try to keep this somewhat reasonable. As usual, I rambled and appreciate everybody, as I always do. So thanks for watching. That's my time on, uh, I think, January the 27th, uh, Saturday morning here. Thanks for watching.